Well, uh, welcome again to the uh, hearty uh, dead enders of this conference. We really appreciate your, your being here. I apologize for some of my absence earlier today. I will give a little plug. My magazine, The American Prospect, is inaugurating on Wednesday a daily web feature called Trickle Downers, uh, a, 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 a daily fount of analysis and ridicule of economic ideas that intellectually are dead, but zombie-like, still stalk the land. So uh, I'm in charge of that, and I apologize, and I'm going to be watching all of this on video to get what I missed. But we're not going to miss our next panel, uh, Precarious Labor in Labor Law and Policy. Essentially, labor law in this country, I think, functions in two broad ways. The National Labor Relations Act is dysfunctional for actual unions, and for precarious workers, there really aren't any uh, laws covering them to give them much at all. So that, that's sort of the brief summation of uh, what we are going to be uh, discussing today. But obviously, uh, there have always been precarious workers who have been excluded from uh, a number of basic labor laws, agricultural workers and domestic workers from the get-go, uh, from uh, Social Security. Uh, a, a pretty damn good reflection of the biases, if not of the whole country, at least of enough of the country electing legislators to block uh, expansion uh, in the 1930s and for, uh, you know, for many still. So uh, uh, the questions of how to uh, and where to uh, deal with uh, uh, precarious labor in a way that uh, affords uh, more protection and even more organizing ability uh, is, is upon us. It's, it's upon us despite the fact that after November's election, uh, uh, more labor is going to become precarious uh, and that uh, we clearly are not going to see much coming out of the federal government that is anything other than a threat, I think. Uh, for uh, the next four years. Uh, uh, so some of what uh, I would hope a, at least a couple of our panelists might address is what can be done in those few bastions of strength that uh, pro-labor forces uh, still hold sway in, which is to say a number of cities and a sadly smaller number of states. Uh, so we will be hearing from a number of people who have been working on these issues uh, nationally locally and globally. I will read brief, very brief introductions for them. They're in your, in your packets. Uh, and uh, we will go in the order uh, they appear on my printout of the program, which is not quite the seating order, but uh, uh, it's in front of me, and that's how we'll go. Uh, Sharon Block is the Principal Deputy Assistant Secretary uh, of, for Policy at the Department of Labor under Tom Perez, uh, whom she's worked as a policy counselor before that. Uh, Valerio Di Stefano, uh, who joins us uh, from Milan, is at the uh, Center on Inter International Markets, Money, and Regulation at, uh, at Bafi, uh, uh, the, uh, the Bafi Center uh, at the uh, University of Bocconi in Milan, uh, also does work on precarious labor for the ILO, the International Labor Organization. Kathy Ruckelshaus is someone whose work I have uh, profited from greatly over the years as general counsel and program director for the indispensable organization NELP, the National Employment Law Project. Ben Sachs, ditto from his uh, excellent labor blog. He is the uh, Kessenbaum Professor of Labor at Industry at the Harvard Law School. And David Madlin first came to my attention a number of years ago when E.J. Dion said, you know, I have this spectacular graduate student. Uh, and he has fulfilled, I think, E.J.'s uh, estimates and hopes uh, as a senior fellow at the Center for American Progress. I don't think it's on the longer uh, bio you have of him, but he uh, released a paper there uh, several months ago uh, dealing with uh, the, the challenges to, uh, uh, to the changing labor force, precarious labor, and how we might talk about organizing uh, and empowering those workers. And I, David, what's the name of that paper? Okay, never mind the name of that paper, uh, but uh, we'll, we'll, we'll remember it before the end of the panel, and it, 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 I commend it to you all. So, with that, I'm going to turn this over to the panelists, beginning with Sharon Block. 